As this way, the build with cursor as command K or control K, command, we shall bring up this uh, little uh, input box. And then we can just writing out in structure and clip generate and cursor when I'll write it. And it's trying to use flask. We can go a follow up instruction. Let's try to say terminal chip because we don't want that uh, flask. And here we go. It's making some mistakes. I was using old library, but this is how control K works. We can give an input and follow up instructions. You can also select any type of there, any lines, amount lines of text, and you can also give instructions like that. Another best way to use is uh, cursor is composer. We're hitting command shift I, and this will bring up your composer info panel. And you can enter your instructions here to create a full stack GPT-4 chat up. It fast API, and this will create all the files that is necessary for this project. Then at the end, you can simply choose to accept it. You can accept it all, and you can iterate by typing additional instructions here. As you can see, our files were generated. The mix this way uh, is to use the chat. We could have actually asked the same thing here. Let's ask for a terminal GPT for a chat app. It's sort of actually referring to the file that is currently open on in view. Uh, the chat is a bit different because it writes this in uh, little snippets which you can copy, but you could also apply. And sometimes your clones will apply instantly. You can accept. This could also make changes which you can reply. Let's ask it to change the model name. So as you can see, it's only rewriting the function that is necessary after it's done. You can apply it and changes are applied, then we can accept it. Well, in the composer and the control K and also within the chat, we can actually refer to files. Let's do it with control K. We can type it on add command and you can refer to all the files that exist in our current directory. With add, also you can perform web searches. That cursor will take into consideration the web search it has performed. You can also refer to uh, documentations which you have indexed. You can do the same in Composer as well. As you can see, you can Composer and the chat on the sidebar can also use to answer questions based on the entire code base, whatever files exist in your project. And always take a look at settings. Now, here you can actually input some static rules for AI if you had some rule sets. And if you turn this option on here, where it says include dot cursor rules file, then you can actually write your instructions here. And each one of the commands will take whatever you have written here into consideration, kind of like system message. But remember, you have to go to your settings from up here and turn this on. And under features, you will find a box. If you click on add new docs, then you can actually enter the ent entry point for a documentation and uh, first, it will crawl it for you and turn it into a vector database, which you can refer to when you are uh, making requests. So you, you can actually get information from documentations of libraries that you are using. Also, when you're in the chat, let's create a new chip. You can switch from normal chip to long context chip, and you can change your models right here. Control enter to answer with entire code base. Alt enter to answer with no context can also insert images as well. You can paste them here directly, or you can refer to them. By clicking here and selecting the same is true here, with new uh, man cake demand as well, you can paste the images here as well. And if you wanted the answers, without actually generating code, you can do Alt-Enter. Let's go ahead and say it all, uh, I, and not Alt-Enter, and not you know, actually answer, do not writing in a hub. Then you can change the model which you want to use from drop down. So this is the basics of cursor. We created a thousand X codes with cursor masterclass with setting in chapters. I've been coding with cursor for over 3000 hours, creating three Albert projects. Each files come with an entire walkthrough for a from scratch of Recoptix app, along with the code files such as swarm intelligence or the latest one, how to build an AI scientist. Link will be down below. If you're interested in learning cursor seriously, this is a no-brainer. Uh, you shall. Uh, I'm hoping you'll find it incredibly helpful.